Hello everybody. Today I will be doing a paint along with me. Throughout the video I'll be sharing a few different art terms that can help you with your painting on your own. There's a full list of supplies in the description box below if you would like to use the same things that I'm using here. When you're painting it's important to use the correct sizes and shapes of brushes so you can achieve the look that you want without being messy. You'll also see here I'm using basic colors, yellow, red, blue, white, and black. This is because colors look better when they're not straight out of the tube, so you want to mix them before you use them. I also prefer mixing my own colors because it gives it a sense of individuality. Having a good base for your painting is really important. You don't want strong colors to overpower the layers that you will add to the painting later on. So make sure to use a muted color. I'm starting off with a bluish gray for my sky. It's important to keep your painting simple in the beginning. Don't define anything yet. It's good to use a wash which is when you thin the paint so it spreads over the surface easier and isn't completely opaque. Opacity is when you can't see through the layer to the white canvas behind it. As you can see, I haven't even defined my horizon line once I added some of the grass because I don't know exactly where I want the skyline to meet the grass line. And it's good to know that you don't have to know everything when you start a painting. You can just dive into it and follow what you feel. I'm loosely defining some of these trees, capturing the essence without defining any of the smaller details. Skinny trees like this tend to be very windy and bendy in the trunk because as they grow, they reach for the sunlight in different ways, wherever it may be coming from. And trunks get wider at the bottom. So always make sure to paint a wider bottom to the tree than the top. Branches aren't important yet. We're just worrying about the placement of the trees. Things in nature are beautiful, and they're beautiful because they're not perfect. Nothing in nature is perfect. If you look outside, the trees have branches that intertwine and bend, and they don't follow any sort of pattern. So that's what we're going to do here. Now I want to liven up the sky a little bit and make it look brighter with a few stars. You can just place them here and there. When I began this painting, I wasn't super happy, that's why it looks sort of gloomy. But now, I'm feeling happy and calm. Art is an expression of the way that you feel. If your art turns out a certain way, don't be upset by it if it's not what you want it to be. Let your art be changed by your emotions, even if they change partway through your piece. Now that everything is basically laid out, I'm going to start adding details in the places that I see fit. The trees that are closer to you are the ones that will be the most detailed. The ones far away, you shouldn't have to worry about adding details to. Different types of trees grow together, and that's very similar to the way that life works. We're all different from each other. So here I'm representing that just by adding a few birch trees among the other trees. To make the birch trees, I'm using some white paint and dry brushing it over top of the trees that I've already laid out. Dry brushing is a technique where you are using a paintbrush that is relatively dry but still has a little bit of paint on it. Unfortunately, some of my footage was deleted, but quickly I'll just explain what you missed. For the leaves, I used a dabbing motion with some green paint to create a 
a sparse yet full foliage of leaves. I finished all the details for the trees and I darkened the path to make it more obvious. Then I wanted to add a little bit more of wonder, so I started painting the fireflies to give the painting some more warmth. I'm using the wash technique that I told you about earlier to create the soft glow around the orbs of light. Though it is not necessary, I'm adding a few touch-ups just to make myself a little bit happier with the final result. You can add a few blades of grass coming up out of the ground around the path and the trunks of the trees to make it seem more realistic if you want. Always sign your art. When you sign your art, it's like you're claiming your piece and you're saying that you're proud of it. Thank you all for watching and joining me in this experience of painting. It's always good to refocus and rethink why you decide to paint certain things. Sometimes it's because you're happy, sometimes it's because you're sad. But don't let any of those things stop you from doing your art. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and if you want to keep seeing videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.